Burning Daylight, Not Safe to Drive at Night, by Bob Brown and Ricky Detweiler, Episode 10. That's where we were, right there. It's just before 6.30 and we were just now leaving Oaxaca. And we had to wake up the guy at the uh, hotel desk, we had to unlock the gate so we could get out. So we couldn't just leave the keys on the desk. So we're on the road. You have your headlights on now? Yeah. Okay. Good. Over here, they uh, have full service. I don't believe you can even do self-service. As we haven't seen anybody. And there's two tenants out here right now waiting. When you go to the gas station and you want to wash your windows, they don't have anything, uh, at least the one we just went to, uh, nothing, no paper, no soap, no water, no squeegee, nothing. Uh, I think what they do it is they're trying to keep the the people that at the intersections in business, so that way if you need your windows washed, you have a place to do it. And it will cost you one peso. That should be east over there. By the mountains. So they have these pedestrian overpasses to get across the these tra highly trafficked roads. But uh, you never see anybody using it. You wonder if somebody got hit and killed and they had a big protest that it was too dangerous and so they built these and then nobody ever uses them. So they have to put a speed bump on both sides of them so that uh, the pedestrians can still walk across the highway. Right. Cover both bases. I like our arrival time. We finally got off early. We've been uh, just kind of taking it easy each day, but um, it'll be good to get to this place early. Well before dark. Scheduled right now at 3.41. Oh, is that a hot air balloon over there? Sure looks like one. That's awesome. Where do we get to do that? I've done it before. Not in Mexico. Not in Mexico. Now you can see the flame even kind of light up. We're almost going to go directly underneath it. God has been great to us. The only mishaps we've had are computer issues, and in our opinion, that's not a mishap. That's just part of the adventure. So I want to pray that we have a safe travel, safe trip the rest of the way to Guatemala. Maybe we're making a big chunk out of it. I, I didn't really know what to expect on this trip, but it's just been way more awesome than I ever could have imagined. It's, it's been the, one of the coolest things I've ever done in my whole life. Getting ready to be head on collision with a bus. <gasps> I saw him from way over there. I knew he was coming. That's kind of unusual. They got the tree going right through the metal tin roof. Right through the roof. It's been there a long time because, well, just because you can figure that out by yourself. I think it said Moscow, capital of the world, on that last slide. Bet you that wood is for burning uh, or heating up them rocks. So they can make Moscow. Now the sun is on our left, which means we are driving south. Right now we're driving south. Oops, now we're gonna go east. Oh. Now, technically, we're going north. Fish. Fish. Now we're going east. Right into the sun. I'm blinded. But I'm not driving, so I guess it's not that important. I am blinded too. That is important. Sunglasses. Oh man, that's nasty. 56 kilometer going the other way. It's on the street, the ones going south are odd numbers, and the ones going north are even numbers. Because the odd ones are going south. And that's we, us. That's us. We're going south. 
there's 59. Man, I'll be working at editing all this footage for probably a year. Yeah, it's a good thing you're not getting very much video today. No, that would be a good thing if I just threw the camera out the window. Look how much labor I'd save. I could watch a lot of TV. I like to watch TV. You even watched a little TV last night. That's right, we got to watch the news, sorta, of, but it spoke in English, which was important to me. Technically, we watched the TV show on modeling. Did you learn how to walk the catwalk, Bob? I learned you have to walk with confidence. And the news guy didn't do a very good job. They dekeyed him right off the bat. He gave it a shot. And uh, so anyway, I guess I'm not a model. Maybe we're Ricky just, can be a model. We're just odd. You ever get sick on windy roads? Sure glad I'm not in the back seat because I'd be getting car sick right now. Or maybe we just didn't notice they were so windy because we were going up. Huh. That's pretty windy. Yeah, I can drive in a boat across the Atlantic and never get seasick. Drive, what, a couple miles with Ricky in the mountains? No, I did not get sick. I did not even throw up. I didn't even come close. You know how you get that kind of a dizzy feeling and you kind of, your blood feels warm. You can feel it coming on, so the best thing to do when you feel it coming on is stop whatever you're doing. Do something different, which means stop looking in my film. And look outside. Whoa, look at the view outside. Also, another trick to do is... to go fast, because he said we have to get there in a couple seconds. That's right. And also, another trick is to pretend you're surfing. See here? You're banking it. Oh, you're taking the turn. Oh, isn't that cool? And you do that. I also learned you do that when you ride roller coasters. Do you? You bank it this way, making a left turn. Oh, isn't that fun? Yeah, I'm, have, I'm entertaining myself. And the problem with entertaining myself on camera is a lot of editing later on. Stop fooling around, Bob, and just sit here like a nice person. See how you do that? Just sit there and just pretend you're just having a normal, everyday drive. Or watch Ricky drive. I choose C. Watch Ricky drive. Just if you're gonna throw up, just throw up out the window. Into the wind, so I get it on my face. You can't look at the camera in a turn, Ricky. Not if you want Bob to live. I do want you to live. Okay, can't look at the camera in a sharp turn. So he drives. Facing forward. If you're gonna crash, dead trees are good. Yeah, that's a smart thing to do. Put the camera in front of the driver's eyes so I can be filming myself. Yeah, you're so vain. Oops. 75 km. Tanker on a fun porch. They all think we're crazy. We are. And they waved. One, two, three, four, five. Five cows in the back of that truck, but that truck is a lot bigger than the other ones we saw. But still, it's pretty impressive to get five cows. Got yeah. us a little smoke action here. Pretty soon. There's that fire right over there, unmanned. And what camera would have had the rooster sliding on his keister if the cameraman was a little bit faster. Thanks a lot, Bob. <laughs> My camera. That was cool. Sorry you missed it. You should have seen it. <coughs> we pulled into where we were staying where our, our cabana is. 
and this rooster. We were looking for it. We didn't see it because usually it's always there. And I go, hey, where's that rooster? Couldn't find it. And all of a sudden, Rick goes, there it is. And so I whipped the camera around, and just as I was almost there with the camera, the rooster slipped and landed on its keister. And then got up and kept going because it, it was embarrassed. Got him in an awkward moment, got a little embarrassed. But that would have been so cool. So cool. We have just transferred into a new area and now the scenery has changed. See there? Coconut palms. There's the coconuts. Our first coconuts. Coconuts. We've got real live coconut trees on this on this Mexican place. But don't worry, Bob, there's more surprises ahead. Okay. Last night came across these two little girls they came up they wanted some money one of them had to be three years old maybe four I don't know but she was short real cute and uh, so they came up and wanted some money they got about a, a foot away from me I mean just right there with this little cup or something and smiled up at you and I don't even think they talked they talked yeah they said they were hungry they were hungry so Ricky bought him a couple of tacos, went took him over to his taco place, which I thought was kind of weird that there was two little girls, one maybe three, one maybe four and a half, you know, fire. Sorry, I like fires. But anyway, um, uh, we took him around the corner to a taco store. They, they, they knew where the taco place was, so Ricky bought him a couple of tacos. And I was amazed that I didn't see any parent with them. And, uh, but I think the town, you know, because these girls are probably always around that area, <coughs> even though it looked really bad that they could just walk around a corner with a couple of people to go to a, a place, I, I really honestly have to feel there must have been people watching them. The town, it was so friendly, you know, that I just can't believe that, that no one was keeping an eye out on these girls. We didn't even stay around to, to see that they got him because the, the cook was so friendly and smiling that I trusted the cook that after we left that those little girls were still going to get the tacos. And they were sitting at the table just waiting for him. That is the new charger that Ricky bought in the farmer's market. He got two of them. That's another repair on the Miracle Ford Explorer. If something breaks, Ricky's quick. Quick. Fixed. Yep. I think the adapters that have two USB ports in them, like this, like that, are not the ones to get because when you try and plug two things in at once, I think it overloads them and burns them out. So you might as well just get the ones with one. That's my theory, anyways. Unintended. Oh, attended fire. Attended fire. I saw a guy with a rake. He was attending that fire. Is today Sunday? Burn day? Or are they going one day early? What day is today? Is today Saturday? It's Saturday. Day early on the big burn days. The weekend. Uh, I hope we can get a hotel room. We might be sleeping in the car. I've slept in cars before. I've slept in this car. I have never slept in this car. Uh, first night. Well, actually, I might have cat nap, maybe, but that's that's not really sleeping. And I'm not even sure if I did that. You have a hammock. But that's a surprise. So, we don't know about that hammock. No. Not that we're going to see anything new in Mexico today. I'm sure everything we've seen, we've seen before. Yeah, that's true. I think this is a toll. Toll road. I don't think this was a toll road. I think we just asking for Yeah, I don't think that was a legal toll road. Ricky, what are your thoughts on locals with a rope? Across the street that they can lift up for a car and drop down 
and then they hold buckets. I'm assuming they want money. I don't know. I'm just happy when they let you through without giving any money. I think they made the mistake of assuming that we were going to pay them, and they had the rope down. And we're not down. Bump. See it. And uh, they were probably shocked that we drove through, and they didn't get their peso. I guess we should have small currency ready for such a stop. Yeah. It's only just a couple minutes ago we passed a bunch of coconut trees and stuff like that. Like we're in the a tropical rainforest almost. And now we're just three to five minutes later, and this is what we're looking at. You know, it looks almost like a, almost like a desert. And then we have the mountains that are right there. Blowing like straight sideways. We're going 70 miles an hour forward, but the wind's like just hitting me right in the side of my face. Oh, look up there. When you have wind, what do you have, Bob? Windmills. Yeah, more windmills. Well, if you see one windmill, might as well look down the line because there could be a lot more of them. Hello? Oh, there must be hundreds of these things. A lot more than the other place we drove by. These windmills are right down the center of this valley between these mountains. And there's literally hundreds of these windmills just scattered all over the place. You can see them as far as you can see. There's the windmills. They're slowing down. Oh, it's the checkpoint. We just got stopped at one of our, our second time stopped on this trip for a checkpoint. I asked us if we were Americans. We said yes. The guy talking to us actually had his face uh, covered so you couldn't see him. And I uh, asked where we were going. And Ricky said Guatemala. Where he said, where are you from? And he said, Florida. He said, have a good day. That was it. They didn't check us or anything. That was it. So far, we haven't been, uh, our papers haven't been checked except for the there's a time. checkpoint like right after you get your papers to enter like the next section of Mexico. And I think they check everybody's there. Going right through the car. Ricky opened the windows, not only to cool us off, but to let some of the wind through the car so it doesn't hit the side of the car and blow us so much on the road. We had a surface area for the wind to hit us, especially when we're now doing 85. I don't want to take it out of here. I don't know what the speed limit is, but I can't believe it. It's everywhere. Hey look, a rope. Wonder what they use the rope for. Oh, excellent. Was there a turnstile inside? Huh? The tray paid turnstile inside? No, it was you just pay the lady. Oh you do okay. Yeah, there's that turnstile inside, just the outside. That's to keep us riff wrapped outside from sneaking in. Magnum. Gracias. That was good ice cream. Are there any more of those apple sauces? There should be. Yeah. We're not eating as healthy as we probably should. We so far had no breakfast and a ice cream bar for lunch. I'll get two apple sauces. Everything 
look good. Now we have a flat tire or a tire that's going down. Can't seem to find any nail or anything in it. Who came prepared? As you can see, I got this jack from a garage sale for $2. Let's always, hope it works. Always good to get a good deal. So I might not even need the board. The ground's pretty hard packed. Is going down too fast. Can you lift up? Yep. Is it on there? I got the wheel chalked on this side. Looks like uh, right there. I'm gonna try and put a plug in it. Step one I'm putting a plug in is make the hole wider. Remember before in that first one of those earlier videos where I said there's thorns in Mexico? Well, I believe that's what happened to us. Thorn. Oh no, no. Now someone wants to get in here. It's gonna wait, looks like. Let's just get it done real quick. You've obviously done this before, Rich. Yeah. It'd be nice to have a pair of pliers. But... 